Okay, as promised. I ran out of room, so I put one block. Those are chives up on top. Um, but they are all the way to the front. I put as much in here as I could. I might build another one out. Um, see how that goes. But I think we're going to have more than we need. Uh, anyhow. I think that'll work out. And I went ahead and put my handles for carrying on the sides and for lifting the lid. So the cold frame is finished. And what we're going to plant for now, for seedlings, has been planted. Uh. All right, so I think I already said it before. Everything is in the, um, I guess you call it grow box, the cold frame box. I had a tray of chives on a piece of plywood up on the top because it wouldn't fit down below. Um, it fell over the other day. Put it over here what I could find. So I'm probably gonna have chives uh, if they sprout, they'll be in the sugar baby watermelon, the romaine lettuce, rosemary, and probably the crimson sweet watermelon trays, um, along with along with those things. So we'll see how that goes. But um, I've now got. Uh, Little Marvel peas, two rows. That's all I had of those. I put them on the end because I'm going to use a trellis to let them grow up. And then I've got garlic 
one, two, three, four rows of garlic. And then the sugar and peas, I've got uh, those one, two, three, four rows of sugar and peas. Um, I haven't taken the string off that I used. Um, let's see. My wife, of course, she planted strawberries already. So they're in there, transplanted already. This bed is empty for now, waiting for what's in the cold frame box. This one's empty, waiting for the cold frame box sprouts. And that one's empty, waiting for cold frame box. This one, I've got four rows of radish, uh, pickle bush cucumber, garden sweet cucumber. We're gonna try to make pickles out of those. See how that goes. White onion, two rows. That's all I had of the white onion. Um, scarlet nan nantes carrots, two rows. Main crop carrot, two rows. Danver half long carrot, one row. That's all I had of those. And then short and sweet carrots, one row, uh, which is all I had of those. So I have three beds left, four by eight beds left. And then I tarp this area because I want to kill off everything down below. This area is pretty much ready. I've just got to till it up. And I'm thinking the tree might be an issue, but I'm not sure because sun does hit this area. And if nothing else, I can go up here for my ground garden and over in this area for my ground garden which is pretty much almost ready. Um, this area is all the dirt that the chickens made with the hay that they used in their coop. All the hay that we pulled, put in there and then we pulled out. Um, we piled up and let them go through. That's kind of what we're doing with that pile of hay there. It's just they're not out here. Um, we may go ahead and once I get some pallets, put it back in the chicken run area and let them till it up for us and fertilize it and make it dirt. Um, today is supposed to be rainy. It's overcast right now. So just trying to get some things taken care of, done before the rain hits. We've got um, Junior and his two girls are still in their little area. These guys seem to not really care anymore, so I'm thinking probably in the next few days we'll uh, open that up and see how it goes, see if they fight anymore. Um, Junior and Popcorn haven't fought again since the day of fighting and he I don't know if I can get close enough right there his comb is still a little bit black and blue from his butt whipping that he got uh, but everybody just seems to be getting along and not having a problem they like the area that has been opened up to them we want to mow, but every time we start getting ready to mow, we have rain roll in. It makes it muddy again, and I can't mow in the mud, but uh, the stuff is getting kind of long. I burned all this, uh, the tree that I took down, <clears throat> we burnt everything we could limb-wise. These are all uh, what's left here. Let me go ahead and back out as well as this and I guess oh there's popcorn making noise we walk back over here real quick
That log right there, it's a pretty straight log. It's over 10 foot, or even, I think it's like over 12 foot really. I didn't measure the whole thing out, but it does have a bit of a curve past that one point. But it's like 10 foot long on the straight end. <clears throat> so, should be able to make something out of it. And then the other side of it that, that curves off to the right, that's maybe four or five foot long. I could make something out of that as well, just cutting it and, and milling it out. But um, I'm thinking this area will be my garden area to go with my raised bed area. And of course, I'm gonna have sunflowers, uh, corn, different variations of corn, watermelon, cantaloupe, A couple other things in there. I can't remember everything. I've got it all listed on a spreadsheet. Um, got that all taken care of, but uh, should uh, hopefully have a good, good crop this year. Um, I've never tried to grow corn, or sunflowers. Um, when my wife did the gardening two years ago. We didn't do gardening last year. Um, I got busy doing other things, and well, this year I seem to have some time, especially with things going on around the world in 2020. That, however, is a subject for a totally different video. Um, so I do have the time this year. I, mean, I want to put more soil in both of these beds and that bed I don't think I have enough really I don't I want it higher up um, that soil has settled down um, since we covered it after filling them up but um, let's see how this goes hopefully we'll have a good a good year like I said a good crop this year and we can help out our neighbors throughout the area they need you know vegetables or whatever somebody wants a watermelon uh, we've already we've got so many eggs uh, my wife took uh, I think we had 11 dozen eggs yesterday that we we gave to um, a nursing staff so anyhow you go ahead I'm rambling on I'll finish the video up later on and get it out. Uh, see you in the next video.